Consider the improper integral from 0 to 1, ln x dx. Well, why is this one improper? Well, look at the picture of the logarithm. You see that it has a vertical asymptote for x equals 0. So 0 does not belong to the domain of the ln. So we have a standard situation, yeah, an improper integral with this continuity of type A. Yeah, so if we try to calculate the integral from 0 to 1 ln x dx, we should take a limit. We should be worried about the left-hand side of the interval. So the limit for t to 0 plus of the integral t to 1 ln x dx. Well, primitive is easily found. Using partial uh, integration by parts, we find that the uh, a, a, a primitive is given by x ln x minus x. And this one goes between the boundaries t and 1, so that when we use these two integration bounds, then we see that this equals the limit for t to 0 plus of yeah, the upper value 1, so 1 times the ln 1 minus 1 minus t substituted for x, so we get t ln t minus t. So the first part we get minus 1, and the second part t ln t, well the limit for t ln t for t goes to 0 plus equals 0, right? So this is the standard the classic uh, limit that we've calculated using L'Hopital's rule. And minus t also goes to 0 for t to 0 plus, so where we end up with is minus 1. So the improper integral from 0, 1, 0 to 1 of ln x dx is convergent. And in particular this means that the area enclosed by the graph of the function, the lines y equals 0, x equals 0, and x equals 1, is just 1.